So it's the morning of day two. It's uh, a little late, 7.30. I've been keeping this inside the camper because the battery is such a pain in the butt to take out. So just brought this out. You want to keep that battery warm. I'm not sure how it's going to perform when it's sit, sitting outside all day. Because right now it's 26 degrees out. Uh, camper did great. Nothing froze. I'll have to go over how I get this to not freeze. Well, most of it to not freeze. I doubt we'll be getting any solar. I uh, heard, oh, maybe three or four groups go in early. But um, this fog is pretty thick. Pretty thick. You maybe got, yeah, you, you could probably shoot 200 yards here. But even just seeing over to there, be hard to identify how many points are on a bull. But um, <clears throat> I gotta go, gonna go in for about four hours. And then I gotta head back home for two days. And I'll be leaving this camper here. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen. I gotta pack all this stuff up. Put the generator inside, things like that. But uh, hopefully we'll see something. It's going to be a little bit of an adventure. A very cold, brisk, wet ride. I probably should have... Actually, I'm going to. I'm going to swap out my my down puffy for a synthetic puffy. I'm going to do that right now. So I'm not too concerned about the trucks. Most of these guys that I found were only a few hundred yards off the trail. A lot of them are just going to be driving around today. But it's, uh, you can feel the moisture in the air. It's like 100% humidity right now. So that's why I switched to synthetic. All right, I gotta go get the rifle. Give you an idea what the scenery is like. Uh, there's much less hunters in this whole valley. I only saw the two Jeeps from Nebraska. And I know those guys don't walk more than a few hundred yards from their Jeep. So I got this whole valley to myself now. Take a look at this. Frozen ice everywhere. Kind of rode the bike up here. I'm gonna park it underneath this in case it does start snowing. It starts snowing around noon. It's gonna head down into the valley here. Go way up on in, kind of where I was last night. So at some point in time, this was a bulls, an angry bulls spot. I mean, every tree in this whole area has rubs on it, as far as I can see all the way down the hill. Not sure if you can see that or not, but the, the fog is blowing hard up the valley. Not very good for me. I'm hoping I'm up on this hill high enough for it to get taken up this other little drainage here to my right. I don't have much time this morning, so I'm just going to hang here, listen. I, I checked cameras last night, or my SD cards, and the raghorns are still kind of hanging out with the cows, and they're bugling and like doing rut stuff. It's kind of weird. They were actually rubbing the tree right next to that water hole camera that I have. Uh, that was October 24th or 5th. So six to seven days ago, they were still bugling. And I think I heard some last night. It's either elk or other hunters trying to get, get some activity. Oh, so I'm back underneath the tree stands. There's one there. figured this guy must know what he's doing and I think I, I talked to another guy who said he knows the guy that puts these tree stands up and he's been hunting here for a long time now I'm starting to make my way back towards the bike and I'm take about 40 minutes to get there came across a really nice transition from one valley to another there's just trails crisscrossing everywhere Fresh sign, obviously rubs everywhere. Crazy amount of rubs up here. But a nice size herd came through here. I've been bugling, haven't had any returns. So th 
this rub right here is from this year. You can see how fresh the, uh, the pine sap is. This looks just like the one that's over at that water hole. This area is just super tracked up. There was a large herd in here at one point in time. That fog still hasn't lifted yet. Not much visibility. It's, uh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon too. So I'm heading out for one and a half days. It's Sunday and I'll be coming back on Tuesday. A friend of mine should be getting up here tomorrow. So the camper should only be alone for 24 hours. I think it'll be fine. Like I said, I'll show you what I do later, or maybe in a separate video, how I keep it from freezing. But right now, it's 32 degrees out. <laughs>